on a cold Halloween night, as the moon hid behind menacing clouds and the air grew denser, Mr. William Thornton found himself in his solitary abode. The house, located on an isolated hill and surrounded by dense woods, was known to all the villagers as the Villa of Shadows. A legend enshrouded that dwelling, and the brave were warned not to approach too closely. William Thornton, a man with a sharp gaze and dark eyes, was a scholar of the macabre and the occult. He spent his nights attempting to unveil the darkest mysteries of the world. Many believed he was a wizard or a necromancer, and his home was filled with ancient books and mysterious objects. That night, while the rain beat against the windows and the winds howled through the extinguished fireplace, William found himself alone in his library, surrounded by flickering candles. He was studying an ancient tome on communication with spirits. He had heard stories of wandering souls haunting his house, and he wished to make contact with them. In the dimness of the room, the sounds of the night seemed to amplify. The creaking of wood and the moaning of the wind made him startle repeatedly. But William was determined, and as he chanted ancient incantations and traced mysterious circles on the floor, he felt a presence, an indistinct shadow slowly materializing before him. The figure was that of a woman, her pale face and vacant eyes fixed on William. She wore the attire of a bygone era and carried the scent of decaying roses. Who are you? William asked with a trembling voice. The woman replied with an ethereal voice. I am Elizabeth, a prisoner of this house. I died here many years ago, seeking vengeance. Her story was told to William, a tale of injustice and suffering that had condemned her to wander for eternity. William, frightened yet fascinated, offered to help Elizabeth find peace. Together, they began to perform dark spells and ceremonies, trying to break the curse that bound Elizabeth's soul to that house. But as the days passed, William noticed his health deteriorating, and his appearance grew increasingly aged. Finally, one night, as William was engrossed in a ceremony, he heard a cold and malevolent laugh emanating from the shadows. He turned and saw another figure, a familiar figure. It was Elizabeth, but now she was different, her face contorted by a malevolent smile. You have failed, William, she said with a sinister tone. Now your soul is trapped here with mine. The Villa of Shadows was steeped in darkness as the souls of William and Elizabeth danced together in eternal horror. The house became even more feared by the villagers, and the legend of the villa grew. And so, every Halloween, the shadows of William and Elizabeth materialize, seeking new victims to drag into the eternal darkness of their accursed abode. 